Yeah, definitely. Very strange. Um, I mean, it was very weird starting this new job during these difficult times, especially because um, in March uh, 2020, like a couple of months ago, I had to travel from Germany to England just when the quarantine started, when the lockdown started. So I had to travel by car, uh, move from Germany to England, uh, going through different kind of border controls and telling them why I'm even moving, that I'm starting a new job. So I had a good reasoning moving and uh, driving during lockdown, but it was very weird. And I obviously had to get used to first not being able to go in first thing. When my job started on the 1st of April, I didn't have the chance to go in and meet everyone like you used to do or what you normally should do when you start a new job. So uh, obviously the first thing I did it was me working from home or sitting at home and uh, first getting to know what my possibilities are, what I can do for the company while not even being in the company one day or at all, uh, not having that much, not, not that much knowledge about the uh, actual products. So um, it was weird, definitely weird. And the unknown circumstances were quite challenging to be honest because um, you want to put as much effort into uh, the new company and showing what you can do and what you can offer the company but then only being able to let's say first things I did was doing some little translations for the website and then slowly starting to um, get some quotations I would need to follow up or to make some first customer calls to German customers and seeing some potential prospects, uh, especially in the medical uh, industry, especially because of the Corona and the COVID-19 crisis. So getting in contact with these kind of potential customers. So it was weird getting in contact with uh, people or customers who buy products or want to buy products I have never experienced or never uh, actually had proper contact with or I never felt in my hand before and trying to, I guess, not necessarily sell them because obviously they already had uh, interest in the product, but uh, answering their questions, answering answering what kind of uh, problems they have, so see what, they, what I can do for them. So it was weird. To, to f fully start this new job in this difficult time, definitely. So, um, but, but during the, um, after a while, obviously uh, making some calls, etc. every day, I got more used to it. And especially we started uh, making Zoom meetings with uh, the export department, which helped me a lot to obviously get to know more of my colleagues and actually feel be, to be a part of this team. Uh, to be, be a part of the JetPress team and to get slowly included in the day-to-day -day, uh, activities. So that was quite helpful to actually have these Zoom meetings and to be included. Also then finally after I ma managed to to get to be, to be allowed say to be allowed to go into the office uh, it was nice to meet everyone slowly because obviously lots of people are still followed so i had a better chance of meeting everyone individually and speaking to them individ individually so that was kind of a, a plus side to put it that that way so it was easier to ease into the company rather than being full on with everyone meet, meeting everyone on, in one day or having to meet everyone and speak to everyone and being maybe a bit it's a bit much for on one go. So it was quite helpful to uh, be able to meet everyone individually and slowly and getting used to everything. But obviously, it's a, you can't really compare it to anything else because it probably has never been done before or this kind of situation is very rare at least. I mean, I can't remember last time a pandemic happened and obviously starting a new job in that same time. So it was very challenging, but I think it was uh, it was good. It was still good, and was still I think the JetPress uh, colleagues and everyone working at JetPress did their best to help me in and to ease in. And 
I think they did a very good, good job and I'm very happy to finally be here. Um, generally, obviously, they're a bit worried uh, to see how the actual situation will uh, end or how it will what what it means to the older value volumes and how their turnover will end up being. But generally, they also felt like I mean, in Germany especially, they felt like uh, the governments uh, handled the situation quite well. So they're quite happy how. The, the government's handled the situation, but obviously, depending on the industry in Germany or Austria or Switzerland, um, the situation is very different. For example, the automotive or the aerospace industry is uh, was hit very hard because not many people are buying cars at the moment or not many people are obviously flying or the, industry, the airlines are not flying and they don't need any more aircraft seatings or anything in particular what we might could help with so that was is very challenging for them so it's not easy for them to handle the situation um generally i think the customers are looking forward to the um, the end of the year to be honest to autumn and winter they're hoping that the order volumes obviously are going to pick up again and that that they can expect more and more orders coming in and that obviously their revenue and their turnover will rise again and increase. So they obviously just day by day seeing what, what will happen, how the situation will turn out. But generally they're looking forward and they're positive uh, that the future will turn out better than the last couple of months. Generally, um, when it comes to me visiting customers, obviously what is part of my job and being in contact with the customers it will be very challenging because lots of companies and customers are not necessarily looking forward to receiving uh, visits from outsiders obviously many people are not even working for them full time yet they're working with loads of uh, workers are working with reduced hours so they're not looking forward to having meetings with uh, people who are coming from abroad and especially from England, which are is ne necessarily not the most safest company when it comes to, uh, country when it comes to COVID nineteen at the moment, but uh, they definitely they want to uh, have meetings again with obviously with us and to discuss further projects. But currently, it's a bit difficult uh, to say when this actually going to happen. So either maybe in September, October, end of the year. We'll have to wait and see how that will turn out. Well, my previous job was uh, more focused on trading furniture worldwide. So from Europe uh, and European um, productions and industries and also from Chinese industries, selling it worldwide in container loads mostly. And I was more focused on taking care of businesses and customer orders from A to Z, basically meaning when the customer ordered and placed an order, I would take care of everything from taking care of, um, basically I was taking care of orders from A to Z, meaning when the customer ordered, I took care of it, send a performer out or an acceptance of the order, an order acknowledgement, and then obviously got in contact with uh, suppliers and got in contact with forwarders, got in contact with banks, etc., depending on financing and taking care of everything until the order is actually being shipped or it actually arrived uh, in the, in, at the customer's destination. That could be in, in the Far East, in Japan, Korea, that, which were my main uh, customers, which were mainly placed in like Tokyo and Seoul and other kind of uh, Far East countries. And obviously at Jetpress, I'm more focused on the sales perspective, taking care of uh, customers and their needs and their problems and trying to help them out with anything they might inquire or what they need and see what we can help them with and what kind of products we have, which might be helpful to them and actually getting to know them even more and being having a kind of a good relationship with the customer so they trust us and they actually want to keep placing orders with us 
So um, my old job was more focused on taking care of orders and shipping them out and still having the customer relationship, but more focused on actually being in contact with suppliers and the German industry or the European industry, and then taking care of uh, shipments and etc. until the actual order has been dispatched or arrived at the customer. So at JetPress, I'll be more focused on getting to know the customer and trying to get uh, sales in and trying to make uh, sales increase. But there are also some similarities, which are um, being in contact with customers during uh, phone calls, also visiting customers, actually going to, for example, the Far East or in, at JetPress, visiting customers in Germany or the German speaking area and meeting them, having discussions at, either at their companies, at their industries, at they, um, or visiting them at um, fairs or meeting them at any other possible situation, hopefully sooner rather sooner or later, I'll actually be able to do that depending obviously on the current situation. So I'll be looking forward to actually getting more and more contact uh, with the customers. Currently, it's more focused on uh, having phone calls with potential customers and current customers. So yeah, I'll be looking forward to keep doing that and learning more about my potential customers and helping them out with their needs and their inquiries. After my high school graduation, before my professional career, career um, I did a six months uh, trip to New Zealand slash Vanuatu. In New Zealand, there was a group or uh, organization called YWAM, Youth with a Mission. And in New Zealand, basically, there's a, a training part, uh, getting to know more and more what you can do socially and helping underprivileged people. And then we traveled to Vanuatu, an island group north of uh, New, Ze New Zealand, which is about a two hour flight travel. And we helped uh, underprivileged or poorer people building them water tanks and trying to help them out as much as possible and working as a team with uh, loads of other people from all over the world, from Sweden, from Korea, from the States, from Canada. So we were all working together and helping the people of Vanuatu. The cost for these building or these water tanks were fundraised by, by, by ourselves. So getting in contact with people we have back home or just asking other people if we can raise some money in order to help the people from Vanuatu. Being in, active in that social project in Vanuatu was quite helpful, especially working as a team, like I mentioned, and being able to trust other people and trusting them what they do and helping each other out so we can finalize on a final project and complete the water tank project and being able to fulfill the needs of the people from Vanuatu and help them out. So um, this uh, project really helped me to be uh, even more structured and decisive and helping other people's out and putting other people's needs in front of my own needs. So it was very helpful in my own career also to, to learn more about other cultures and to learn more about what, how other people deal with things and how other people interact in team and a team building exercise or any other situation you can might think of so it was very very helpful and I think it was a good experience and it was very um, helped my uh, future career to evolve and I think as it was a good idea and I'm very happy I ended up going to Vanuatu and helping these people. Well apart from traveling obviously for work I love traveling uh, generally visiting other countries and experience new cultures and getting to know what they can offer to me or to us or generally just learning more new things and experiencing uh, new foods, experiencing uh, new ways of how to live and to, to 
enjoy life. So I really like doing that. And I also, I mean, generally probably most people say that I try to keep myself fit, to go to the gym, to play football. And I also occasionally go for a run if I find time. But yeah, that's, I really do enjoy doing that. And I also am a dedicated football supporter of uh, my team back in Hamburg, which I'm unfortunately not doing too well at the moment, but uh, I have great passion in following uh, sports, and especially football. And also obviously very much enjoy just spending time with my girlfriend and experiencing the new things that England can offer, being here and just moving uh, newly to the UK. And also very much enjoy just spending time also with my family back in Hamburg, Germany, and also my family I have in south of England in Surrey. So I try to make the most out of my free time and enjoy as much as, much as possible.